on Betty Wash Day. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to our fifth session of Ancient Symbols and Lakota Art. So we've been focusing on the symbol of Kapemini and how the symbol Kapemini had a mirror effect from the heavens to the earth and the spiritual connection to um, the spiritual realm and the prayers and the symbolism of Kapemini. Now we're going to talk about the mirror effect. So this is kind of where the symbol originated. So we are, so today we'll discuss the um, Lakota astronomy. So <clears throat> it's always like a connection from the earth to the heaven. It's a mirror effect. And um, during the winter solstice, all the stars are aligned with our sacred sites in the Black Hills. So that's very, very important to know. Um, Lakota ast astronomy also aligns with modern, modern day science. So there's proof, like, um, so in conjunction with Cynthia Gleshka and Rosebud, NASA did a study of, um, of the stars in the Black Hills and took aerial photos of the Black Hills from the space shuttle and then took satellite photos of the stars during the winter solstice and everything lined up. So it's scientifically proven. So what we have here is we have our winter camp. So this is our winter camp. It's down here. So it kind of aligns with that. So we, when winter solstice starts, so we followed the moon and the movements of the sun and the moon. So this, when everything lined up, that was our um, that was our time to go to our winter camp, which started in the Black Hills, and then we gradually made our way around with the winter, um, touching on every sacred sacred place we have. So this is the winter camp, and that aligns with um, Orion's belt, and they also call that the sacred pipe. And from there, we moved on to the winter camp. So. The winter comes um, spring, so during spring, we welcome back the thunders. So this is Harney Peak. And Harney Peak is right there. So um, this may take a couple sessions, but uh, we'll go thoroughly through the mirror effect of Cuphemony. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.